What is up? It's your favorite happy hippie hood fairy Kim. And today we're gonna be making some delicious food. I have two of my best friends coming over and I thought let's try to whip up some really good food that I've done before that you folks have never seen. So what's on the menu you ask? I got you. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and let me know in the comments what you want me to cook for you. On the docket, we've got garlic knots, meatballs that I'm gonna make right now. You're about to see it. I got a little head start because I do have a little time constraint. And we're gonna have it on zoodles that I'm gonna be spiralizing with you guys and a homemade sauce that we're making together for dessert, you ask? I'm gonna be making a little DIY, very simple little kind of peach cobbler situation. And it's gonna be delicious. I'm so excited. I'm really hungry right now. You know I'm not eating until the very end. But you know what I am gonna do is. <laughs> this vino is sponsored by Jordan. Thank you so much for bringing this man. We fill her up to the very top. Cheers. We have to get started on the garlic knots and the meatballs right now. The zoodles can be realistically done as we're serving the food. So for the meatballs, the recipe is really not that difficult. We have quinoa, we have lentils, we have tofu, and we're gonna put some salt, granulated garlic, and some parsley in there, um, and some olive oil. So you're about to see the whole process. It's gonna be very simple. So we're going to need a blender. Got it right here. I'm not sure if anyone has ever cooked with tofu before, but if you're using it as a binding agent, you do have to press the tofu so that there is no excess water in here. So what I've been doing for the past 10 minutes is I've been having my tofu on a rag, soaking in the water. So I'm squeezing it, squeezing it. I feel the water coming into the rag right now. And there we go. How many meatballs I'm gonna be able to make is a tray full. I had one cup of quinoa dry that I put into boil with water and we're gonna put it all in the blender. We put the full quinoa in, we're gonna put half of the lentils in now, half of them for later, just to give the meatballs a little bit more texture. So putting in half right now. I didn't put any flavor in either of them because we're gonna be putting in the seasoning now. So now we're gonna pulse this and then we're gonna add the rest in a few moments. So now that we've blended and pulsed this, we're gonna be putting this in a large bowl. We're gonna be putting the remaining lentils and our tofu along with the seasoning inside for the next round. And then we're gonna mix it up and make some meatballs. Erin, you're gonna help me in one minute, okay? Happy. Yay, yay, yay. Happy, happy, happy. I'm gonna put some pepper in here as well. Meatballs! So, Aaron, now we have to mix this together and add parsley to this, okay? Yeah. So, mix. Come on, we gotta mix and mix. Mix, mix. Can I help? We cleaned our hands before, don't worry. We don't have dirty hands, right, Aaron? No dirty hands? Because dirty hands are so nasty. Ew! <laughs> Look at Ken. Whoa! Just use this, like this. Whoa, good job! Oh, and the meatball! All right, that was a cute little feature from my nephew. Here's the meatballs. 32 meatballs. Okay, so we're gonna stay in this area because we're gonna be making the marinara sauce, which is just gonna be cooking at a low and slow heat. Thicken up, let all the dry herbs that we're gonna put in really unlock and activate. So that's gonna be that, and then we're gonna work on the garlic knots. Oh, my friends are coming right now, so. <laughs> For time's sake, we're gonna be using this organic crushed tomatoes as a 
base and we're gonna put a lot of different flavors in it. This is really nice because it has no extra ingredients in it. It is just organic tomatoes, organic tomato puree, and some citric acid because of course it is in a can. And we're gonna customize it and make it so good. So I don't know if you guys knew, but I'm left-handed and I had to learn how to operate in a right-handed world. For example, in my perfect world, I have a can opener that I can use with my left hand. I had to learn how to use a right-handed can opener. And I still use it as a left-handed person. Um, it's just, I do, I think I do it the reverse way than like the normal Stan would. Okay, so for the sauce, we're gonna be using these different herbs, parsley, rosemary, thyme, and oregano. So let's pop that in. Yay! Made it! <laughs> yes, so Jay has arrived to the party, and we're gonna work on the garlic knots together. So <laughs> we're gonna need, I need you. <laughs> Like it's gonna be amazing and I also need another glass of wine, so. <laughs> and now we're starting with the garlic knots. So we've got some almond milk on the oven because that's what step one is. And we're gonna look at the steps together and <laughs> then do this, so. Okay, so step one, place the milk in a small saucepan and I'm cooking that right now. Remove from heat and pour the milk into a small bowl. Add the sugar and yeast, which I have right here. Um, and mix well. Set aside and leave the yeast to bloom for about five minutes. I like to whisk it. Jay has like the most amazing arm muscles that I've seen in my life. <laughs> yes! <laughs> a large bowl, mix together the flowers and the sea salt. <laughs> oh, th two thirds cups, right? Two thirds, yeah. Okay. Wait, that's butter? No. Uh... is 240 grams, two thirds cup is 160. What? <laughs> I'm no longer in a cast. Girl. Look at my, look, my finger's bent, but it's gonna be healing. Like I'll be able to stretch it out straight soon. Can you move it? Yeah, before I, I wasn't able to move my finger. I was just able to go like that. And I was like scared because I had to reteach my finger how to move again. Yay. Once you see it bloomed um, and very frothy on top. Look, it, it's not very, but it's starting to bubble on top. Okay. okay. Part of yours of olive oil and mix it well. We're gonna have to cover it with a damp towel, tea towel, and leave it to hydrate fully for 10 minutes. Okay. Cool. Bruh. All right. Damn, th this is an actual oh, like process. science. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, didn't think you would just like bada bing, bada boom, put it in the oven? Erin, you're gonna help us mix the yeast, sugar, and almond milk that has been heated up with the flour and the bread flour. See, it's a whisk. Whisk. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I don't think I've ever cooked for you and Amani, so I'm like, I need to, like for me, cooking is a way that I show love to people. Dude, you have some skill. Actually, I have tried one of your recipes. It was very good. You make the jackfruit taco. Yeah. Those were so bomb. The sauce, mm. the textures, girl, you got skills in the kitchen. Thank you got you. skills in the kitchen. <laughs> she got skills in the kitchen. <laughs> so it says to put a tea towel over the dough, but I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna use this towel. Okay. So just like have it like that. Okay, we'll put it on here for 10 minutes. Right now we're working on the bread and uh, Hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> well, we got. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay, don't apologize. You look beautiful. We're making zucchini noodles now, so do you want to help? Jay yeah, has been helping with the that? bread. No, we're actually using this. Uh, I've never used this before. Can. Can. So now we're kneading the bread for the second time. Then we're gonna put it with a damp towel for another 10 minutes, and then we're gonna knead it again for another two minutes. Flip it. it. Four. Flip it. Four. Good <laughs> job, JJ. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've got the zucchini spiralized. We're just gonna put it in the fridge because it doesn't need to be cooked. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
so good. It does smell so good. Wow. The sauce. All of the flavors are there. Mm -hmm. It has like the pasta texture, even though it's veggies. Mm -hmm. The meatballs are so, so good. good. So good. Okay, we're gonna finish so eating this. It, this is bomb though. This tastes like actual pasta. I've always bought zoodles that are store bought. It had a texture to it that I wasn't like that fond of. Mm -hmm. But like us spiralizing them ourselves, like it really tastes so much fresher and I think it imitates pasta way more fresh versus when you buy them like box. Yeah, I feel like when you buy them in the store they're like wet and soggy. These yeah. are crunchy. Oh my goodness. Bro, like what? Now by literally like. scraping the plate <laughs> Just chilling right now, listening to amazing music, playing games, living our best lives, really. Right? Definitely. Yes. 1,000 for sure. <laughs> and now we're having the garlic knots. I'm very excited about them. So let's just like really just dive in. Let's go. There's butter right here, vegan butter that has some red pepper flakes on it. And then the bread itself is fresh out the oven. Yeah, the Ooh, this butter is so yes. soft. Wow. The bread is really good too. It's like really soft. Mm -hmm. It's moist. Like perfectly mm -hmm. firm. Like salty, garlicky. Like it's very rich. It's, yes. Yo, this is a bomb. The red pepper flakes really give it a good taste too. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Literally. So 10 out of 10, yes. The bread really absorbs the butter so well. Thanks so much for watching this video. We made yet another delicious meal. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, it's been your favorite happy hippie hood fairy Kim. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.